A 70% antifreeze concentrate is to be mixed with water to produce a 5 gallon mixture containing 28% antifreeze. How much water and antifreeze concentrate is needed? Well, let's begin by identifying our variable. Let's let X represent the amount of antifreeze concentrate and let's let Y represent the amount of water. When we use two variables, we want to set up a system of two equations. Now the first equation can be gotten from the fact that the mixture is going to contain five gallons. So the amount of antifreeze concentrate plus the amount of water should add up to five gallons. That's the total amount. Now the second equation adds up the actual antifreeze in the correct percentages. The antifreeze concentrate contains 70% antifreeze. In other words, 70% of the amount is actual antifreeze. Plus, well, the amount of antifreeze in water is zero, so zero times y is the amount of antifreeze in the water and the amount of antifreeze in the end mixture should be 28%. So in the end, 28% of the five gallons should be antifreeze. So the actual amount of antifreeze is totaled up and that defines our second equation. These two equations make up a linear system that can be solved using any method. Let's rewrite this second equation in a little more simpler form. Here, 0 times y is just 0, and 0.28 times 5 is 1.4. Notice the second equation has one variable. We can actually solve for x pretty easily. To isolate x, all we need to do is divide both sides here by its coefficient, 0 0.70. Doing that, we're left with x equals 2. Now remember, X represents the amount of antifreeze concentrate. So we need two gallons of concentrate. To determine how many gallons of water, we can back substitute. We'll use X plus Y equals five. Remember the total amount of the mixture is five gallons. So two plus Y equals five, subtracting two on both sides, Y equals three or three gallons of water. So all that's left to do is answer in a sentence. We need to mix three gallons of water with two gallons of antifreeze concentrate. 